Uh, can you be sexist towards men? I don't care. Oh, Ooh. come on. Come on. You don't sure. care? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just can you yeah. do it into the mic? Yes. Yes? I think yes. I think yes as well. Yes, you can. Sure. Yep. Yeah. All right. Can you be racist towards white people? <laughs> Pass. Yes. Wait, starting with you? Of course. They are not a marginalized or minority. So racism is more, I would say it's prejudice, not racism. Okay. Yeah. Your answer? I would say the same thing. Prejudice versus systemic abuse. But, I think prejudice. But I also think it depends on where you're at, though. Because yeah. I'm sure there's like predominantly. Like if you're in China? Yeah, there's areas Could, where there's not predominantly white people. So I'm sure oh, that okay. there's possibility to experience racism. Well, you? Yeah, you can be prejudiced towards white people, but I don't think there's any systems that white people are the losers in. So you can't really be racist towards them. What the about systems. affirmative action? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you give me a specific example of uh, affirmative action? Like, the fact that, for example, with universities, in universities they will typically penalize both Asian and uh, white people when it comes to their uh, SAT scores, for example. So, in order for you to be more likely to uh, qualify for enrollment in a university as a white or Asian person, and it's actually the highest amongst Asian people, uh, mm -hmm. you have to score a higher uh, in your testing metrics than, for example, like Native Americans, Blacks, Latinos, Pacific Islanders, or white. So I agree with the concept of giving people who've historically had less opportunities a kind of a step up and giving them more of an opportunity. Like Asian people? I, well, it, why, why are it, when Asian it comes, people, hold on, why are Asian people penalized the most under the system? Mm -hmm. I'm not. That's like you gotta like let Harvard. Me, for I know. Example. Did you hear about the Harvard You are interrupting scandal? me, dude. Sorry. Like you're okay, doing what ahead, you don't want me ahead, to do. Go so, ahead. and I'm honestly so exhausted that I, I, I don't want to look like a quitter here. For I just don't know how much longer I can go. I apologize it's been seven for interrupting. Hours or something, but I apologize I just, for interrupting. Go I'm ahead. hungry and tired, but. I agree with the concept of if there is a group that's historically been stepped on and not given an opportunity, I agree with the concept of trying to level that. The sure. ways that we've gone about that, I don't necessarily agree with, no. But I do agree that that's part of dismantling the system. If there's a system is in place where historically white people always win, we need to change it. Are we changing it? That's concept? a question. Absolutely, yeah. yes. I've talked to so many black people who are like, yes, we could be racist against white people, okay. just sure. like Asians yep. on black, vice yep. versa, sure. of course. So you you can't be racist towards white people then? No. Okay. You can be racist against white people like I can be a misogynist and a female. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's is, um, just a quick follow-up. Um, being prejudiced, is it just as morally reprehensible as being racist? I think it could be. I mean, I think that in an, again, I'm not trying to just say if we lived in a dream world, because I know that's not the case, but if we did, then... I, I think that if you act in a disrespectful way towards someone based on something they can't change about themselves physically, at least within like 30 seconds, let's say, mm -hmm. I don't think you should base how you treat them based on that. Okay. Aren't they on some level? Is pre being prejudiced equally morally reprehensible as being racist? Yeah, I think so. I'm like at this point so mentally exhausted. I'm scared. I'm going to say shit I don't believe in anymore. But I, I think so. I'm just so I can't drink? think straight. Energy drink. Get this girl. Do you want two apple sauces? We have two. Pa Anybody else My want apple sauce? We we got the plug. We got the apple sauce plug. I as a gentleman, I will provide the apple sauce for. How noble of you. I'm, so I'm a nice guy. See, all right. <laughs> Let's, Let's, thing you've done I'm lately. very chivalrous, clearly. Like what? Let's see. Come on, I know do you, you have guys, a soft spot. Do you guys think that, this is like sort of a two-parter mm -hmm. question, that me and Andrew are misogynists? Dating? Yes. <laughs> yeah, circle are jerking under the table. In, are we in a... Uh, okay, never mind. Do you think me and Andrew... <laughs> So you could say yes for Brian, no for Andrew. No. Do you think we're misogynists, starting with you? Maybe yes. Okay, maybe <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll take that. I think specifically you've been vocal that you haven't been saying women can't do these things, but this is just an objective truth. So I wouldn't say that you guys are misogynists. Okay. I would just say You can tell that, us how you really feel. It's no, okay. I, no, I'm agreeing. I just how much support you would actually give women in your daily life i would need to get mm. to know you to know that how much just curious how much support do you give to men in my daily life i mean i don't interact Zero. with a lot of men Zero. so when i'm interacting with them then i of course i'll give support but 
you know, I don't know. Don't but I just don't know you guys. So okay, that's what I'm saying enough. is I don't know you. Do you think me and Andrew are misogynists? I also don't know y'all well enough. Fair but enough. I mean, based off of like the current conversation. Uh-huh. I think that some of the statements both of you have made throughout the last six or seven hours have come across as misogynistic to me. However, mm-hmm. I don't know either of you well enough to label you as that as a human being. Okay. But I think yeah. I have some viewpoints that could be misogynistic. I think we all have some viewpoints that might be racist or misogynistic mm-hmm. or anything. That doesn't mean you as a human being are that at your core, though. I also don't really like throw that term like easily, so I'd mm. say no. No? Are you? I don't know you guys, but I know that you're not misogynist because I am, so... Okay, that was an interesting one. Uh, so that. wait, going back, a lot of women have, going have going it. back to you, just so we can make sure we're talking about the same thing. How do you define misogyny? Thinking that women are lesser than you. Okay. Hating women. Hate, hating women. Wanting to treat us differently just because we're women, or you mm-hmm. think we lack the brain capacity or any of the physical skills to do anything any other human is capable of. Well, then I do, if that's the gen, then one part of it of wanting to treat men different, I would fall under that definition for sure. In chivalry. So your definition of misogyny, since you were pretty... About, Clear about it. Yeah. yeah, if you look it up, one of the keywords is contempt. So what you said, like a contempt or hate for women. So which one? Is it the contempt or the hate? Part that they're both. intertwined. They're mm-hmm. synonyms. They're contempt. Well, it's Let's associate it for all intents and purposes. Contempt. I suppose you can have contempt for somebody without hating them, but okay. So are these, in, by the way, these individualistic definitions? Meaning, if what if you just have contempt and hate for one woman? Porn stars. <laughs> Is that okay? Is that misogyny, or do, does it need to be spread over the pool of women? Spread over <laughs> women. I'll say it again, women. Mm. Yeah. I know we were. So does it need to be spread over that. women? I think so, yes. Yeah. As a group. Mm. Okay. So I support of course, five. Of hating one man. So I support one five woman. women. Ooh, that's awesome. Good mm-hmm. for you. <laughs> how many men do you, how many, how many men do you support? I have some amazing men in my Probably life. Yeah, how many five. men do you support? <laughs> Mr. Raising Eyebrows. How many <laughs> men do you support? <laughs> Financially? Yeah. It's none of your business. Zero? <laughs> You're dating a 60-year-old? I'm just asking, how many men do you support? None. I don't have any kids. It's really Maybe interesting that the misogynist so. over here is supporting all the damn women, and the not-misogynist over there not doing much for the men. <laughs> just okay. saying. But I would He's argue that we support pens. each other, and we don't... I'm not even going to engage, because I'm men. So like, I'm not taken care of by men. Mm-hmm. She took care of me. Yeah, but she I didn't call me a misogynist, right? No, I didn't, but... Why is it just monetary? Well, it's I think it's interesting... Extracting something, again, Why, Well, so because you said it has to be applied over, over women in general. That's so this right. would apply to the women. fact that since I have four daughters and a wife at home, that I must be a fucking monster who hates them. I would hope not. I agree with these women. I don't know. I don't know enough not about you. But from a what, that hates hey, them, but, but from what you've described in this mm-hmm. conversation over infinity, is what I sense is just a genuine superiority of men over women. Like I haven't heard you say other than procreate, like one positive thing about. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gave you an entire one. ontological argument for why women were necessary that Brian couldn't even give. I gave an entire on onto- I actually gave you an ontological syllogism for why women are necessary in society. Can you do that for men for me real quick? Can you give me an I, ontological syllogism? The- okay. For I've why we need men? men in society from the beginning of this. So channel. why do we need men? I love men. Why do we need them? Wait, no, you don't you love men? <laughs> Brian, I've really? said it. Oh, I get it. Cuz I've said it like 3 times. Just making sure it's clear. Yeah, so anyway, I gave you I gave an me. actual ontological argument for why we need women. Literally. I don't, I don't know where you came up with this idea. <laughs> I just think, I don't know. I'd have to know more. I'd love to know more. But you don't believe in chivalry. Like I said, it just seems like you have these underlying... Wait, it's just is, toxic. Like just women are way that's class. toxic to not believe but in chivalry? But it's proved me wrong. Hold on, wait, let me ask you a Just question. because you have daughters, is, I, and I hope that they're... So is it... You said it's toxic to not be chivalrous? No, no, no. I said... No, no, no. I was saying you're just... What you've said throughout this, your behavior is... It's toxic. Is it toxic, toxic. masculinity? You, again, you would. Toxic I'd be superior. the last person because I have men's backs all the time. I've had some of our society's biggest label misogynists come on to like state their case and have their back. Why they're not? 
And, you know, it's unfortunate. It's, it's out there. I have, to see, I have to say, even the comments in here and just how you guys are, it, it's, you know, it's a little toxic. And I hate that because it's such a buzzy word and it's so whatever has lost its weight. And I debunk it all of the time. But, you know, again, prove me wrong. It's like, I okay, just feel like I'll you think you women are second class. I think like, it's pretty I, apparent. I think it's sad. that it's the like reason the you're thing. embracing the buzzword of misogyny and toxicity is because we dared disagree with you and you're a pampered princess. That's, again, your yeah. opinion. So I think you're a misandrist. I have people who Right? You're a misandrist. Wait, did you pick the bear? No. no I said so many okay. times I would not get to pretend for five think, fucking think, seconds to fight off I think the that bear. men who dare disagree with women, especially you, are just kind of labeled My as My boyfriend bad. disagrees and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe and challenges Your boyfriend lets me. you flirt with other dudes. What are you talking about? He's the most and permissive he's motherfucker so I've ever heard of. He's more of a man than you'll <laughs> ever be. That's neither here nor there. He man. challenges he's so me. much more of a man. He, he lets you go with right, other dudes. He's a what? Man. He's not right. He challenges and goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with me all the time. I don't need to be coddled um, like a princess. You sure seem like But he's you do. also not a misogynist. He then I'll honors and respects then women if I'm as wrong, his equal. In fact, like empowers okay. women in ways I, do, I he's opened my eyes. Then, then if I'm wrong, give me an actual example of anything I've said which is misogynistic, a single one. <laughs> that women can't do anything. You've said society would completely be destroyed if it were up to if it were left to women. Yes. This is like a fucking fever dream. It literally, I feel like. Wait, why would that on. be a mistake? I don't think we can do. But, okay. Yeah, but okay. I gave an evidence. No, no, no. Even, I gave an no. evidence. Is, any, I gave is an, anything real? I gave an, evi we, I gave an <laughs> evidenced, reasoned <laughs> argument. I have an evidenced, reasoned argument for why I think that Andrew. absent men, society would collapse. You talk about porn stars like they're trash and worthless. Men and women. <laughs> okay. And I think bigoted narcissists. Okay, he didn't, How you off, think about me is how I think about you in the moment. Great, men because and women, you right? Advocate you advocate for the patriarchy. You advocate for women nothing. to not be... I have no be, value. I mean, it's just I didn't apparent. say anything about you not having value. Okay, you advocate for your... Do you, you agree I have value? Of, I on. think all human beings have, have ontological value. Okay, so me being a porn star, you think that takes away from my value as a person, my morals, my being, Well, it takes away from your morals, yeah. Okay. Does your, it, in your does opinion, it make do, do, in your opinion? I'm trying to answer your right? question. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're not a valuable human being. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, I would love to see you reform from being a corn star. I mean, you're probably not going to, nope. but I'd love to see it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it compromised your morals for sure. But I wouldn't apply that to you because you're a woman. I would apply that to you because you're a corn star. Has nothing to do with you being a woman. Okay, you've talked about fighting for the patriarchy. You talked mm -hmm. about feminism. Jeez, has fuck. not been so did perfect. You, you said that you like fault. patriarchy. Does that make no, you a... I never said that Yes, you did. Okay. Does that make you a misogynist? I never said that. You did. You talk about the downsides of women, I don't know, being fully realized fucking individuals after mm -hmm. feminism. Being, It's like, it's it's a, it, that, and in, in that way, it's apparent to me, but if that's not misogyny to you, then I'm you don't sorry, have to literally be a woman beater. Sexuality no, no, no. In safe and healthy you said way. A somebody who you thinks women are lesser <laughs> or hates women. I want an example of how you can demonstrate that I think women are lesser okay, or that explain, I hate them. I just explained. You can hit rewind how women are lesser. Mm -hmm. Okay, women can't maintain a society. You've propped up the jerk. Not up modern to the patriarchy. society. Okay, wait, wait, has not on. been no, perfect. It's gone sure. too far in some ways. Okay, he's going against wait, wait, women being in the work all just, kinds just of so stuff. Just so we're clear, being so individuals going... outside of Betty Crocker, fucking in the separate wife. Look, we got to address think points one at a time. If you're just gonna like list off like a million different things. Look, so okay, specifically on the argument of what would happen if all men disappeared immediately and women didn't have any opportunity to be able to learn the ways in throw which... A parade. Huh? Nothing. Go ahead. No, what did you say? I said I'd throw a parade. Yeah. That's how that story started. <laughs> Can we all agree on one thing? You might, you might disagree with the outcome here. Would you guys be prepared to agree? And I, I could show you like the Bureau of Labor Statistics. I could show you the representation of men who are in infrastructure jobs. If it's the case that say like over 90% of men in like critical infrastructure jobs, the types of jobs that really keep society running when it comes to the electrical grid, when it comes to waste management, when it comes to sewage, when it comes to water, when it comes to all this stuff, when it comes to telecoms, et cetera. Will you at least grant me that it's 90% men. It's probably more, but let's just say it's 90% men. 
it is 90% men, but it's men's fault that it's 90% men because society was set up not. to. Well, just until very recently, just, women were even allowed to do those care. jobs. They, they well, it wasn't our choice nothing that we weren't allowed to do those jobs. Hold on. It's, it's nothing, your guys' choice, so we wouldn't have that choice. Nothing is precluding women from entering these fields. Nowadays, but even nowadays, it, the, the, what is precluding them is the mechanics. Women are still yes, we'll treated like shit in those Fine. places so much to the point that they're like, I'd rather be an esthetician because people don't treat me like shit. Agreed. So we'll just grant for a second that it's men's fault. That women are not in those roles fair enough. At this moment in time, there are more men in so, that right. field. That's, so if, you're if we that, acknowledge that, if it's yeah. 90% men, 95% men, and these are the men who are, for example, in the job when there's a blackout. I don't know if you've it's ever horrible, seen, yeah. like, if there's a, a power line that's out mm-hmm. and it's 3 a.m., it's men who are going to fix that in the middle of winter when it's snowing and there's a hailstorm. It's men who are going to go out and fix that, right? Unless so, you're Nina. Right. Okay. Unless you're Nina. So granting all this, granting that 90, 95% of men take up these occupations, how could it just be, how is it wrong to say that if it's the men that would fix these systems, electrical grid, sewage, waste, water, everything, telecoms, whatever it may be. If it was the men who occupy those jobs, if they all disappeared, like why is it wrong to say that if they all disappeared, those systems would collapse? I, go, baby. Would they yeah, not? Go, baby, would go. they not collapse? Would no, they not collapse? I think what you're. I'm agreeing with what you're saying. Is at, we're taking all the information we have right in this current moment, and if that were to happen, yes, and no one figured any. Like, okay, that maybe could happen. But my question is, why are we trying to imagine a world without men? Oh, well, so. So like, I'll, why is that the issue? Yeah, so I'll answer yeah, the question. Yeah, yeah. So I would concede on the other end, mm. the flip side, that there's women who are in things like childcare, nursing occupations, things like this. If they all disappear tomorrow, I can show you crisis after crisis that men would have to scramble to solve. Yeah, 100%. We're just saying that societal infrastructure mm-hmm. itself is not going to completely collapse. How that could ever be a misogynistic statement, I don't know. But the reason that we're trying to dive into this is because, again, to explain it again, I run into delusion constantly, where it's, no, I don't believe that that would be a problem. No, I do think that we would be just fine. I don't think that there would be significant problems. That's a delusional take, which then I can take to kind of get to the heart of those issues. So, okay, if it's built on this false belief, where did we come up with that false belief? That's why it's important. No, I understand, but I guess my... Next question is, how, how do you know what's delusional or not? What is your objective truth? Where does that come from? Well, and if, if I may just jump in really quick, the reason that we actually provided this <coughs> scenario of if all men disappeared, women didn't have some like foreknowledge of it coming, yeah. it just instantly happened. When we asked you, do you need men? A lot of you said, no, don't need them. Don't even need them for my survival. No. Right. Well, I mean, despite us presenting evidence that you actually do, do you, you still can, just... Can I chime in really quick? I, I agree with you that based on the way that society is functioning right now, you're right. If you guys all randomly disappeared, probably the power grid would go out and stuff like that because 90% of those jobs are held by men in the first place. However, this is where it becomes misogynistic to me, is I do believe that you're right. Maybe initially there would be some sort of chaotic collapse. Things wouldn't be working out. But what I believe wholeheartedly is that women have the ability to learn, train themselves, and use tools to be able to to accomplish those jobs. So maybe there would be a lull where we're fucked for a little bit because everyone needs to catch up. But I strongly believe that women put their heads together and teach each other and learn. Yeah, you're right. I might not be strong enough, but like I ran the produce department at Trader Joe's and I was the first woman in 10 years to do so. I was using a big Joe Jack. Do you think I was lifting pallets alone? Mm -hmm. No, but I learned how to operate machinery so that I could move those pallets by myself at three in the morning every morning. And I was the first woman in 10 years to do so. Can I just rebut this a little bit? The fact that you think I can't learn is what's misogynistic. Not that I don't know it right now. Can I ask you a question? It would not collapse if we had the ability to learn and fix it. Are you familiar with the term point of no return? Yes, of course. So you say, if we can learn, I'm telling you, within days, the telecommunication system down, 
internet down, you wouldn't have the internet. You wouldn't have like the means to go like internet down within days, electricity down within days. Like where you you can't just go to a library and pick up a book, R- riddle, a physical riddle me, book. Riddle me this though. What about the beginning of time when men they didn't know how to make a fire wait let me talk let me talk men didn't know how to make a fire and did they have the internet to teach them no maybe one group of men learned in this small village to make Mm -hmm. a fire men on the other side of the world also kind of figured out how to make a fire and eventually we all figured it out I'm, I'm assuming it's men because you guys are, are acting as if men are the ones to figure this out. That's what I'm saying. I didn't tell you have, had to assume it's we men. Have, let, let me, <laughs> we have the equal ability. So if everything shut down, I do think that like in my immediate little village, me and the woman around us, I'd lean on the women closest to me and be like, what do you know that I don't? Teach me and I'll teach you what I don't. And some woman hours away from me, which I don't have the internet so I can't communicate with her, she's doing the same thing with the woman in her immediate. And eventually, you're right, it might be a blackout period like we're cavemen for, or cave women for a second. But I think that we are smart enough that we can learn and figure it out and teach each other and eventually we can rebuild society because at one point in time this society was built in the first place why can't we rebuild it again why are we so stupid we can't figure it out you're right i don't know how the electrical grid works but i do believe i could learn if i tried i believe you but that was never the point of my dispute we, the point we, of your dispute was, can women survive without you? I think initially we wouldn't know what to do, and then I nope, think we'd learn, and the, we would know how no, to, to do it. I don't wish to live in a world without you guys. I really it, don't. Can I, you how can you, can how can, wait, how can you stop talking for five seconds, and then I start, and you say I wasn't done? I didn't stop for five seconds. I was, like, mid-opening my mouth, and you interrupted me. Like, I was actually not done talking. But okay, you can talk when you're now, done I'm talking, done. let my, me know. <laughs> I like, did read I, the social cue, and you said you weren't done. You read them wrong. You're right. So I told you what you read wrong. But I... I mean, I'm I'm fucking tired. I'm done. If if I was here single, I would be going home now, not because I'm giving up, but because I'm tired. Well, I have learned a lot sense. from you guys tonight. I really appreciate the opportunity for being able to do this, but and some things well, have ch- slished my perspective a little bit. But at the end of the day, I'm leaving here knowing I'm capable of everything you guys are. I don't think that was really so, our. That's a, yeah. Here, that, that wasn't the anyways, core of the anyways, issue. <laughs> anyways, I, I will.